Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm here to show you how to make coffee with the My Coffee Star steel capsule that's specifically designed to make environmentally friendly coffee with the Nespresso machine, this Nespresso machine. Um, again, it's environmentally friendly because you're not using the Nespresso capsules that you have to discard, and you can make much better coffee with the steel capsule. I have two types of coffee here. I have the Ethiopian Mocasita, which is a caffeinated coffee, high, high quality coffee. And then I also have the Decaf Colombia. This is a decaf coffee. Today I'm gonna to be making decaf coffee. So you just simply open up your coffee bag, which is sealed. Take out a spoonful of coffee. And I do this over a Tupperware for spillage. Take your steel capsule and just simply dump the coffee into the steel capsule. Then take your spoon and just lightly pack down the coffee. Emphasis on lightly, very lightly packing it. If you overpack it and you pack it too tightly, um, there will, the water simply, there'll be too much coffee and the, the water pressure, or water won't be able to get through the coffee in the my steel capsule. Now take out another spoonful and again, kind of dump it in. And again, you can very gently, again, very gently pack it down. Then you can take some of the straight, straight grounds and kind of top it off on the top. And again, very lightly pack it. And then simply just kind of remove the excess coffee so that the top of the coffee is flush with the top of the steel capsule. Now simply take your finger or your thumb and run it around the sides of the grooves to kind of remove any, any extra coffee grains. And you can see this nice, how the coffee is nice and flush with the top of the steel capsule. Now take the top and simply screw it on like so. And I use two fingers and a thumb. I call it three finger tight. So one thumb and two fingers and just tighten it. Don't over tighten it, but make sure it's pretty tight. And then when you're done, make sure that this green ceiling ring, the circular ceiling ring is flush with that top against the top of the steel capsule. I'm just gonna press it down. Now turn on your Nespresso machine like so, and simply take the steel pod, open up your Nespresso machine, and just like you would a regular Nespresso pod, simply let it fall into the slot. Um, <clears throat> you can then, you now uh, close the Nespresso machine. Again, it'll require a little pressure, but not too much. You don't want to have to force it closed. And then simply take your cup, place it under the Nespresso machine. I use, I, it depends on the strength of your coffee. For this size cup, I hit the singleton, if you wanted to hit the double tin for a double cup, you'd have to use the bigger cup. And we simply make a very nice cup of coffee. And kind of fills the cup about, about two thirds to three quarters of the way full. Um, you can see now <clears throat> um, the very nice crema on the top of the coffee, really the perfect crema, the perfect cup of coffee. Again, if you wanted a slightly weaker coffee, you can press the double tin. Um, when you're done, <clears throat> simply, again, open up the Nespresso coffee machine. The steel capsule will fall down into the collection bin. Uh, and now you simply remove the steel capsule from the collection bin. Be careful because it will be kind of hot, you know, since it just made fresh coffee. And now you simply clean it out under some cold water. <clears throat> Run it under cold water, unscrew the top, like so. Simply wash out all of the coffee grounds you can just kind of rinse them out. Definitely don't use any soap. You simply rinse with cold water. And when you're done, just hold <clears throat> the top and the cylinder up to the light and kind of look through the holes and make sure that there are no stray coffee grounds blocking the holes. If there are, simply take this uh, little safety pin that I have here um, and you can kind of poke out the coffee grounds with the safety pin. Um, you can dry it if you'd like, or just let it air dry, and then you can simply enjoy your fresh cup of coffee. Mmm, wonderful.